Hi guys, Nick Miller here today from Mark Supply Company. Today we have for you a really clean uh, Thomas 243 HD rubber tired skid steer. Machine has just 894 hours on it, was a one owner. I bought this machine, come out of the small guy that had a nursery, uh, selling it with just a 72 inch long bottom bucket. There were some mounts here on the back of it for a tree spade. Uh, that stuff's not going along with the machine. Um, this machine's about a 2400 pound lift machine. I do apologize about the wind here today. We do have a beautiful day. We have a little wind. 2400 pound of lift, 83 horsepower, Dukes 1011, four cylinder, oil cooled, turbo diesel engine. Thing really does start running work good. It has um, 12165 Firestone tires, all matched the whole way around at about 75 plus percent. We're going to start right back here in the engine bay and do our typical thing we normally do for everybody. Uh, we'll be getting back into our dirt pile style of uh, videos here now that it's getting dried up. So, again, machine we've had it in our shop. We've serviced it both hydraulics here, uh, inner and outer air cleaners, which we get guys all the time and say, hey, you know, we don't, not that we don't believe you, but do you really service your stuff? We try to do everything that we can here for preventative maintenance. I'm not saying we couldn't blow a hose or something like that on a used machine, but as far as engine oil, hydraulic oil, um, hydraulic filters, air filters, fuel filters, we do that and then we know that's taken care of. These machines are way ahead of their time in my opinion. This thing even has a hydraulically driven cooling fan, which you know, Caterpillar kind of pioneered the market on that, but here again, Thomas was doing this way before them. Um, and then also Bobcats now went to a hydraulically driven fan and so have a lot of other manufacturers. Very easy to work on, again, Dutes 1011. You can see here, nice and clean, no oil leaks, fires right up, no smoke. Uh, and again, that's an 83 horsepower, four cylinder, oil cooled turbo diesel engine. So, we'll go ahead and put this back down. <clears throat> the door is super heavy. I mean, the whole machine is very heavily built. Uh, I believe this machine weighs in somewhere right around 8,000 pounds. Look how heavy the hydraulic cylinders are. I mean, in a Bobcat machine, the rod diameter would be half that size. Um, and casing size would also be smaller. There's no aftermarket welding or anything on the boom. Uh, chain cases are very good and quiet. Parking brake and all safety features work in the machine. Coming around the front, standard two-pin skid loader quick attach, which will um, accept any type of standard quick attach today. The only thing I can say, the tree spade has these two tabs here that were added for it. Um, I'm going to point that out to you. But as far as structural weld, there isn't anything broke or busted or anything like that going on the machine. Um, two lifting hooks here, lifting points. It is a standard Bobcat control machine. Take a look at the cab. Very nice, square and straight. There's no oil leaks that we have found anywhere. And here will be your auxiliary hydraulics. We'll take you up in the cab. It has a factory Thomas seat. So again, standard, you know, hand and foot controls. All the locking features work and safety stuff. There's a set of pins up here that will slide out for cab locking. Uh, over here is all your gauges, which I will turn on here. You can see warning pressure, or warning for uh, engine oil pressure, battery, uh, parking and seat belt, auxiliary hydraulic constant flow, headlights, um, fuel gauge works, 894 hours meter works. Still even had a Thomas, uh, Thomas S series skid loader key tag with it, which is pretty cool. You gotta buckle your seat belt for the bucket and boom to work and then uh, pull this bar down for your drive function to work. Batteries are both located back here behind the seat and um, turn the camera back over to Matt here. I'm gonna go ahead, fire this machine up, run it around, take your air dirt pile, push it with it uh, so you can see that it pushes and works the way it's supposed to, okay? <coughs>
guys can see there from the video, this thing is an aggressive little machine. Uh, it's really not a little machine. It is 83 horsepower, 2400 pound of lift. Very comparable to like a Bobcat S220 size machine. One thing I would say about it, it does push very well in the pile. And you can see how I was cutting off the knoll there on that topsoil pile just because I didn't like how it was laid there. Um, the thing really does do a very nice job. It's very comfortable to run. Don't be afraid of the Thomas in any way. Parts are out there. Uh, as far as engine, hydrostat, same hydrostat because we actually had to seat clear out, check the thing out, check for leaks. The same exact hydrostat that's in the off cattle, off cattle, 863, 873 size machines. You can even clear down into the 763s. Very similar setup. Um, again, very good machine. Straight, clean, original machine. If you're looking something that won't break the bank and do a lot of work, right there it is. 894 hours on it. I do apologize about the wind here today, but I hope for all intents and purposes what we're trying to do. So check out our website, www.marksupplyco.com. Check us out on Tractor House, Machinery Trader, and on eBay at Mark Supply D. Also, we have started a Facebook page. Try to follow us on there. We are going to try to update it as we have time. And uh, maybe some people can reach out and see some stuff they want to see put on there also. So, again, I'm Nick Meller, 814-658-3066. If you have any questions on our Thomas uh, 243 HD Series S skid steer loader, please let us know. Again, 814-658-3066. Thank you very much, as always, for checking us out. Have a great day.